I'm a, uh, I'm a constitutional law attorney. I have credentials in international human rights that I earned in Strasbourg in, in a United Nations program. I'm no fan of the United Nations, but I actually lived for part of a summer at the University of Strasbourg and studied this. I, I have consulted on international human rights around the world. Uh, and I can tell you, there is no human right based in sodomy, uh, but, there, but, but human rights based in marriage and family values, uh, they go back 4,000 years, you know, before even the Old Testament was written. And, uh, and so, but by the same token, basic civil rights belong to everyone. And I've always supported that. The, the two things that I would do in Massachusetts uh, that I think really represent my heart and I think would help to restore a little bit of balance here. Number one is what I call the First Amendment Supremacy Clause. This is mm -hmm. something I drafted for use by companies and governments uh, uh, wherever there's a sexual orientation regulations based on sexual orientation. Uh, right. It just right. simply says whenever there's a conflict between these regulations and the First Amendment, the First Amendment has to prevail. It has to prevail. You cannot, you cannot have you know, newly invented laws and policies superseding uh, the most fundamental right of, uh, of Americans. So that's, that's one policy. The second is what I call the separation of LGBT and state. And to the extent that, uh, that religion is restricted in government, uh, so should the LGBT political movement, because it's, the, it's basically the counter uh, to it. It's the, their opposite political uh, forces and movements competing for influence in the society the government should get his thumb off the scale uh, when it comes to that. That and 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 let's get back to like we had in the 40s and 50s, which is uh, you know respect for for privacy, uh, that uh, that people can do whatever they want to the privacy of their bedroom as long as it's not messing with kids or something, and that uh, and that we leave that alone. That's a subculture, uh, but the mainstream culture is it protects well. Uh, the, the, the natural family, which is really the ecosystem of humanity. And I think that's very reasonable. I think most people would agree with that. 